Hey there guys, and welcome back! This... To... What? This... This... Is... Nin... Ten... Do... Te... Wolves! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Next time we try to do an intro, how about you just let me talk? No. I've gotta talk sometimes, too. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in again to this crazy show where we play games. <laughs> this time we're and going... watch! We're going into world six with six lives, I think. It's another desert with quicksand. I, I'm, I'm just retiring. I'm, I'm, I'm no, you go can't back. go back. Bird, back. eat me up. <gasps> I cobra. knew it. I knew I knew there would be a cobra. They're trying they to jump out of the sand. Every single time with the cobra. You should have tried to go down the base. I was shot. This level does not like you. Mario Mario. was the one who did the thing. The thing? Where the cobra jumping on his head? Yep, I thought I could finally get past that cobra. It turns out, no. Hey, <laughs> that was cool. Mario is super duper strong. He's the strongest character in any Mario game. Yeah, that's usually true. Okay, try it on the bones. Here we go. Go in the door. Yay! Get it before it sinks! That was close. Yes. I just had quick reaction time. To the quicksand. They were like, they were in an epic trolling mood right there. Yeah. They're just like, how about we drop? Oh, this is quick sand. I didn't stand a chance getting out. You have to mash the button in this. Hurry. Ah, I, yeah. This this hurts actually. Legitimately hurts. <laughs> and there's a cobra waiting for you over there. I'm gonna get shot here. No. You're not. Oh, you almost did, but. But I didn't. That's a happy smile. Because I am smile. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin? I'm Steve Irwin. You know who that is, actually? Yeah. Who? Crikey, he was a crocodile hunter. <laughs> That's who he is. But he's long gone. Got stung by something. It was a sad day when that happened. Actually. Oh, that, 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 that makes, makes sense. sense. Your head was shut in the door. It wasn't... Okay. Uh, oh, what whoa. on earth? Get I out, got out, get out, out of, of here. I did it. Get those, get those grass and be careful if it's a bomb. Did you see me? All they are is hot peppers. Did you see me? Yes, I saw. I, did you see that? Now be careful. Watch face should I take? It's either a cobra or a snippet. It's a cobra. It's a new ah. day. Oh. oh. Nice I know. hope they don't make this a maze thing. Yes, they do. They they went there. Okay, they, look out for the bullets. Look out for the bullets. How did that hit me? I don't I know. I just sealed that cobra. It. it didn't work. That's the one you went down before. So one of these is going to be a phanto. Yeah, that's got to be it. So Ah, it looks like it's that one. Ah. Thought as much. Look out for the shy guy. I want to make a creeper face to make the monster hunter happy. Monster hunter, I keep calling you monster hunter. You're the Hadouken thrower. Yeah. I'm very sorry about that. I, I got used to your old name. Drop it. Don't. Never drop the key to everlasting knowledge. Well, it's still, I think you and better then, drop it. And then it. drop it. Whew. Now what are we going to do? Just keep swagging it out. Okay, swag run to the it door. out. I'm gonna. I, I don't I'm like gonna, that song. Go, 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 swag it out. It was so good that you could pick it up there. Okay. Oh no. And we're only at one heart. It looks like a green birdo to me. Look out. And to me, it looks like my destiny. Well. <laughs> to throw the mushroom down and die. Pow. Okay. You don't deserve to say pow. We can do this. Just be careful. Never not have faith in me, not. Okay. Whoa. Never not have faith in me, not is actually have faith in me. Okay. Which hey, good idea! Uh, at least it was. She got down, though. It is, it is. I still consider this a good idea. Okay. How do I get out of this? You keep picking up the blocks and throwing them. Three. But now she's on them, so that doesn't Move matter. over, please. Thank you. Three. Oh, that creates a shield until I she comes I tried to through. jump. Whoa. 
This is the most complicated. Whoa. I just, what in earth? <laughs> what in Nintendo? Yeah, what? I got out again. Nah. Okay, one more. No. <laughs> it's not one more. Oh, we only have one more. I'm having fun. Good. <laughs> That's all that matters. Except we're never going to get through this thing because I'm having one, fun. One, two. Oh. I, I jumped off it, but... At least. Two. She's breaking her pattern. You can never get that, can you? It's a sad thing, actually. Oh, well. You can still reuse the other ones, so just be careful. Yeah! Make her run for you. Oh, that was cool. Oh. You did it! Ha ha ha! I beat a green birdo. Hopefully oh. you're not blocked. Good. Okay, good. If you put two there, though, you would... <laughs> okay. I'm gonna play a game. I'm gonna I'll play... play a little game. <laughs> I'm gonna play... Flash does a run where if he dies, he dies. No. And if he doesn't, he wins the game. Hey, it's, it's called flying. Ride on a Birdie. Look out! It's called Ride on a Birdie. It's called Ride on Lots and Lots of Birdies! <laughs> and then Ride on the Single One again, and then Jump Through the Fire and the Flames. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Force! <laughs> Ah, you me, you fly, you me. Okay, I'll try. So, so what story am I going to tell today? Children of the Parliament. <laughs> I'm going to tell a story. And what story will we hear today? Children, today I am going to tell the story of Mad Dog. <gasps> Not Mad Dog. Mad Dog. So for those of you who do not know, Mad Dog was a camping ghost story, basically. You know, <laughs> the ghost stories that all the boys always tell around the campfire to each other and to the girls specifically. And that the counselors try to tell to scare the little boys so they can try <laughs> to pretend to be brave to scare the girls. It's, <laughs> you have this figured out, okay? But, um, so... In our cabin, there happened to not be any girls because that's the code of our camp, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it was a boy's cabin. And this this was the kind of cabin where only the most ruthless boy would live. That sounded like Daffy Duck. <laughs> if you found it... Death Pickle. Death no, Pickle. That's... That's... that's, that's, uh, that's His name left me. His name is... Uh, Chitsy. No, it starts with an S. Uh, Sylvester. Sylvester. Yeah. All right, um... So you had to be a manly man that sounded like Daffy Duck to get in here. Um, Not Sylvester. And what... Ah. Th there was an old legend around the camp many of the boys contended themselves with called Mad Dog. Uh, the legend was, and I, I don't remember the legend, so... <laughs> uh, anyway, it, to, to, to paraphrase this awesome legend, it was that a Mad Dog had been released around the camp a long time ago. And Who was the genius that thought of that? It was kind of like a werewolf kind of thing. It, the, it would be a... It was just a mad dog that would come out on the night of a full moon. So, just so happened when we were camping, I, I do believe it was a full moon. Of course. So, they, so the counselors were like, hey, let's drag this story out. And... But none of us knew that they were going to do this, you see. We had just been told sneakily by our counselor a little bit before that um, mad dog was a thing. Or maybe it was like the children who had remembered this who had been like at camp years before or something but for us kids that were at camp the first time and the last time i wonder if mad dog had anything to do with that uh like me uh we did not know a thing about mad dog so uh the way it conspired was on the night of a full moon i didn't think anything was going to happen i thought we were just going to go to sleep uh without taking a shower like i had for the past five days <laughs> <laughs> i didn't have time for showers i was having fun <laughs> Okay, and plus I didn't take showers regularly back then anyway. But I just took a shower this morning, you guys. You can tell because I like to keep my hair clean. Mm. It's the only reason. Because I, I, showers are not fun unless you keep your hair clean. Quote of the year. <laughs> now, back to the story. Um, I thought it was going to be a normal night like that. But turns out, um, I am awoken. <laughs> we were all like on our... Um, See, the, the dorm we were in was like a cement floor with rubber mattresses on steel things. It was like a, some kind of uh, 
desert storm operation. I don't even know. It's like they couldn't afford better stuff. You should have seen the girls' cabins. Mm -hmm. The girls' cabins were, uh, they had curtains. They had running water. They had everything that you could have ever wanted. It, it was it was quite maddening. But they couldn't even afford us running water. They just had, a, like, a tap outside that we had to drink from. Anyway, the point is that the nights were long and restless. So it wasn't any surprise that all of us boys, including the counselor, were awake at this time at night. So what eventually happened was the uh, supreme counselor, which was over all the other counselors in the camp. He was like, so many counselors, man. Anyway, uh, this dude, it's not that one. Or it, is, it switches, apparently. Anyway, uh, this dude, no, it's not. No, Fanto. Okay. Still, what's down here? This dude um, decided that he would have some fun with us kids. So he decided, <laughs> in the words of Donald Duck, uh-oh, I'll have some fun. So uh, he was just like, he took this werewolf mask and a cape. Uh. And I'm not he kidding. He strapped this on his face and he went around all the dorms. Thing is, before he could scare us, he had to come in and talk to our counselor for something. So we were kind of let in on the <laughs> joke, per se, because he, like there was, I just woke up, there was a werewolf in our thing <laughs> there was a werewolf in our dorm you guys and it, it wasn't that scary to me because he was talking to our counselor very friendly so i was like apparently this werewolf is going to stay for tea or something <laughs> but, so i wasn't scared some of the other kids i can't remember if they saw it or not i don't know why they were scared afterwards uh but after the werewolf left and it was prowling around the camp scaring all the other boys which is a very mean thing to do <laughs> if i do say so myself i wonder if they ever scare the girls um <laughs> anyway this dude, he was being a jerk. And it came up that one of the boys in our dorms had to go potty. <laughs> there was no other way around this. You can't go potty on the ground. This is camp uh. we're talking about. This is a rubber, steel, cement, hotel camp we're talking about. For some reason, you can't pee on the ground. I don't know why. I was tempted to do just that. Uh, you're going into a little too much detail there. But and there was another stupid rule. You had to wear shoes to go outside. What? You go with this, where is this camp? Okay? So I had to get my shoes on. Because this there was one of the boys, he had to go potty, okay? And there's no other way around that. So he's just like, I've got to go potty. And we were all pretty scared of the mad dog at this point. Except I was even beginning to get scared. I have no idea why because <laughs> I had seen the mad dog, but... Maybe the reason is because we had heard some dog barking out there, like real dog barking. Yeah, and I, I think to this probably played up. No, it wasn't. To this like, day, it was like several days before when we went out in it in the woods. I have no idea where it came from, and I still don't. They could have very easily taken a real dog, and it wasn't. It was like off time. It was three days before they did the prank. There was no. It's before they even thought of doing it. Hmm. We did hear a dog barking out in the woods. Anyway, we were pretty scared, needless to say, to take our 300-foot midnight walk to the bathroom. And so, a couple of us boys decided that we would be extremely brave. There was this kid. Um, let's see if I can remember his name. I will leave him nameless because I cannot remember his name. Uh, anyway, he's just like... He was like... Me and this kid that had to go pee were pretty scared. We were going to go together in the first place because we were kind of best friends. Uh, but, well, this dude, this dude was the brave kid of the camp. You couldn't get more brave than this. He's just like, I'm going to go with you. And then he proceeded to tell me all the terrible things he would do to the mad dog that I'm not going <laughs> to repeat here. Because he liked his words, man. But anyway, uh, then we all went out on a midnight bathroom adventure together. 300 feet at night with the mad dog prowling around. Needless to say, that was the scariest experience I've ever had in my life. We creeped along. This was an unlighted path. Three of us boys being extremely brave. We never did see the mad dog. But one of us thought we saw a silhouette up on the hill and howling that followed. Creepy. But apparently the mad dog had just had his tea because he wasn't hungry for us. So, the end. It turns out the mad dog was actually British because he had to have his tea. Oh, uh, good. I'm not... For some reason, werewolves aren't as scary when they have British accents. I wonder what they do in all the horror 
I, I mean, what do they do in all the horror movies when they, like, villains, like the werewolves, you know, they talk like, Bruh. they have British accents, so they're like, I'm going to eat you. <laughs> That's just not as creepy. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of stuck here. A British werewolf. Okay. I love his running animation. Yeah. <laughs> He's such a little running guy. He reminds me of the... He's such a little running guy. <laughs> yeah, he is. Look at him. He's a little running guy. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of the Pillsbury Doughboy for some reason. You know. You know. I wonder. Maybe. The Pillsbury Doughboy was just like, ho oh, oh, ho, I'm stealing from Toad. <laughs> oh, double turning animation. Oh, I love that. Okay, here we go. He is a Toad and he's bringing a load. Bringy, bringy load. Bringy, bringy load. Yes. Yeah. And we get another three, three coin, coin service. service. Awesome. So you could apparently do that endlessly if you were good enough. Justin Bieber's not cool. Okay. I'm so sorry for all you Justin Bieber fans. Oh. Uh, ah, yes, two, two up. up. Okay, this is looking good. Oh, it had to do that. That see, that's saying that the sniff it at the start. Okay, at least we got some more lives for this. Now we'll see. I'm just like absolutely taking the commentary while Yumi is absolutely owning the gameplay. That's very nice of you to say. Well, you're beating the levels, not me. Plus, you won a rap battle, so I'm kind of like out, out of my game. Well, I couldn't do the commentary without you. I don't think I want to talk. Aww. <laughs> well, really. Can we be best friends? Sure. I mean, I tried doing commentary without you before when I, I guess... Oh, tell, story time, story time. <laughs> it's not much of a story, but I, when David, I mean, Flash Flare... Oh, I just... What? <laughs> story time is over. Anyway, when Flash Flare and Loomis and Max were doing Minecraft Extreme Rules 2013, I got this strong urge to do kind of something along with them. Play along. Yeah, only it wasn't official because, uh, frankly, he wouldn't like that if I did an official thing. So I decided to record an unofficial kind of uh, episode of me doing Extreme Rules in my own game and I was gonna upload it and everything. But I, um, when I started up the Hypercam, <laughs> and then I was getting it recording, and it was all laggy and all wonderful like that. <laughs> and then I spawned in a nice area and went to check my coordinates. I didn't realize that F3 was also to- Why did I do that again? Okay, that F3 was also to um, shut off the recording, so yeah. So when she pressed F3 to check her coordinates, right away it ended off the recording about 10 seconds in. But I didn't know it, and I kept going. <laughs> she kept talking to herself, <laughs> which we all do at certain times. You all have that time where it's not recording and you're just talking to yourself. But it was like late at night, so I wasn't talking too loud anyway. So the commentary turned out to be very quiet, and tell them how you uh, met your fate on day one. Well, I was so wrapped up in trying to make my commentary interesting and stuff that I neglected to build a house on time and get enough wood. And most of the time I was trying to make things interesting and I was saying, man, it's just not the same without me and Flash. I mean, I'm usually a co-commentator. I don't have much experience solo commentating and boy, I miss him. And... <laughs> Why, thank you, don't... Okay, run uh, and... How are you supposed to get that over there? I have no idea. Maybe with Toad. But... Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't get enough wood and it was night. Just like it is now. Yeah, In and game so... game and real world. No! I oh! <laughs> Whoa! Nice job, Toad. <laughs> He's fast. But that's still looking for So, yeah, I was up on a hill where I could see a bunch of enemies because I thought that would be an awesome place to have a house and <clears throat> build all kinds of stuff and yes 
Can I attempt this while you talk? Okay, just let me take care of this guy. There. So... Oh, have to try that again. I'm gonna take a hit next time. <laughs> so, well, we now. wanna save our lives. <laughs> so yeah, I saw some wood down by the hill and no enemies in sight, so I thought, okay, I can risk this. And I ran down the hill and to the tree, and I started chopping like crazy, and I'm thinking, it's gonna work. What are you... I'm gonna try this. Okay. Good job. So anyway, before I got a first block of wood, or I did get a block of wood, this is awesome. And then, right then I heard a... And then, you all know what follows. Boom. The boom part. <laughs> and that's it. Hardcore, you can't restart, so... There it was, and so I thought, well, at least Flash will get a laugh seeing how I failed <laughs> on the very first day, because I was going to see how well a girl could stand up to the guys in Extreme Rules, and I so showed exactly how. <laughs> and the funny thing was that the quote right after I lost on the title screen... How was that? Screen, oh, well, at least you'll be right at Burno. Four lives, good. So, on the title screen was, read more books! <laughs> And so that was kind of an insult, and I'm like, okay, I guess I might as well just read books and give up playing. So then I decided later to show him the video, since it was late, I went right to bed. Revealed the surprise of what I had done. Downloaded Hypercam and did all that. I downloaded Hypercam for you, actually. But... No, I think I did. And then, because I didn't let it on to what I was doing, but... Then, yeah, I showed him... The 10 second video, which was terribly laggy, and then I realized what had happened and I felt absolutely stupid, so. Here's the real boss. Here we go. So that was my story. It's gonna be Triclide. <gasps> Triclide again! Triclide is this. the true hardest boss. Set up a shield for yourself. I don't need no stinking shield. Okay. You do. I, I need a stinking shield. Alright, see? <laughs> Mario. Mario is the final boss battler. You got this, Yumi. I have. Yes. Okay. I'll try. You're gonna have to use those mushrooms to hit him anyway, so you're not gonna need a shield. No, I... Don't waste your hits, is the thing. There. Now, if I can just go over here... If I can just block... Oh, it's good enough. Now, if I can block all this fire... This! No, that didn't work. You can't do that. You're wasting your mushrooms. Alright, fine. We're gonna do this the hard way. Ugh, that wasn't really good. Okay. Come on, Mario. Intense like the Super Bowl, Mario. You can't- you basically can't get you over there when it's like that. So if he only takes three hits, we're set. He's gonna take more than that, I'm pretty sure. But I can use my shield. Let's see if I can... Oh! That was extremely close. You were just like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was totally cool, wasn't it? Yes! yes! Oh! oh! Will oh. this... No! <laughs> <laughs> it played the winning music! The Good job! Man. Oh, yes! Okay, that Don't was Don't fall off the edge. Go very slowly. Yes! No Yumi, problems. that's quite awesome. No problem. Guys, you don't seem to realize the awesomeness of this situation. This is World 7. There's no World 8 in this game. World 7 is the world. We are about to face the final boss of Nintendo Tales next time. <laughs> Not of Nintendo Tales. Well, oh, but... Chapter 2. Chapter 2 of Nintendo It's the Chapter 2 finale next time, so be sure to tune in for that. We'll see you guys then. See ya.